Hey guys, how's it going? So, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know, my name is Andrea. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but nothing too out of the norm. As you guys know, I love to put things together and all that good stuff. So, today I'm going to be setting up a pull-up bar. Um, I'm going to assemble it right now and then mount it to the wall. I'm not the biggest newbie to mounting things on the wall so I should be able to get this done right so fingers crossed I don't struggle so thank you again for joining me don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up um, and let's get to it so I know girls typically don't assemble things let alone mount it so do not judge me I'm doing it the best I can without having to rely on a man so if you guys have any tips on things that I could do better, feel free to let me know. And if you need some guidance, then maybe you could watch me and see how I do it and then check down below for any tips. Um, but I'm not the worst, to be honest. I, you'd be surprised. I can work well with my hands. So let's get to it. I got the... Um, so this is the pull-up bar I got. I got. I purchased it on Amazon. Um, it was like $80. Uh, I have to assemble it right now and then mount it. The instructions in here are honestly not the best. So I'm hoping the way I do it will kind of make it easier for you guys instead of having to read through here. Um, but yeah, let's get to it and see how it goes. So I'm gonna set you guys up right, oh, right about here. Okay. All right, so let's see. So we have these two pieces. I'm gonna put you a little further. All right, so we have these two big pieces, uh, the pads that go on it, what you need to like screw that together. Um, we have a few more pieces here uh, and these. So once you guys identify your different pieces, I would highly recommend to just separate it and then you can start kind of piecing everything together one by one. So first you have these two separate pieces, you attach them and you'll be putting the screws C on here. Yeah. So these are the two screws C with their washers. Um, you're going to go ahead and put your screw on. So they do give you the little Allen wrench or Allen key, sorry, <laughs> Allen key to tighten these and you want to tighten it as much as you can. Allen key. How can I forget? Uh, I bought a wrench, is what I did for the mounting process. So you have to tighten it as much as you can because with time it can loosen up. And you obviously don't want that. Okay, so piece number one is put together. Now these you flip it over and they give you these to insert. So the first one is done. Should have definitely been a lot easier than that, but I should have started by pushing these in a little more 
that way when you're screwing it on this isn't just spinning on the inside so let's see if my theory is right but flip it over make sure this is on right cut number one this on sure enough it gripped on right away cut number two in better right away all right so those are set next okay so I put that one this T goes with this pad you'll insert these two screws which are the B screws so make sure it's right on top so we have this one put together these two and your pull-up bar so these would be for to do four dips and then the pull-up next we are going to put this one and this one with these. So we're going to set it up in the back, kind of like the bottom diagram. So this will be the bottom. This will be on top. This one will go first. And then you have your holes. Ooh probably move this out the way actually okay. I think I'm the one that's wrong you have to flip these because they do have an opening where you're going to insert the tube or the bar okay so this one will go basically straight up one. So put your washer on the net and make sure it's centered. Okay, I'm going to start. Oh, you know what? I already messed up. <laughs> I should have, before putting this one on, some, some of you were probably watching this already thinking like, wow, she sucks. Okay, there you go. So put this one back on. Wow, I'm quite surprised at how easy it's been to assemble. Um, the instructions they give you is, they're not the best, so. All right, so the last part would be to install this on here. Okay, so not too far down, okay. And these will be with the screws E 
and they require two washers and then the nut and um, I forgot what the, this other nut is called. The nut nut, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so <laughs> one. It's all assembled now. Looks pretty sturdy. The last step is to mount it, which is uh, the scary part, but we got this. Okay, so it does come with the hooks and it came with some things to mount it, but I don't trust these, so I'm gonna go in with some regular uh, not regular screws. I'm gonna go in with some of these instead of these. So this is where I'm gonna be mounting it. This one doesn't even include. <gasps> this doesn't include a battery, and I don't have that type of battery, so we'll be using this one. I'm going to have to rely on the, this isn't the one I typically use either. So this could go very, very wrong, but this is technically supposed to find screws that are already on a stud. Um, that way I know where this stud is at, so. So that means there would be a stud right here. Right there. So if there's a stud right here, then there should be another one about 16 inches across. how accurate this is. So the line is right here. Oh. Pretty accurate. I think it's off by like an inch, but it's between 14 and 16 inches, so Seems about right. When doing pull-ups, I'll probably do it about two inches above above uh, this line. That's where the first hook will be. A small pre-drill first to make sure that I even have a stud on there. And then if I do, then I'll do a bigger hole and then I'll start putting in 
these screws. So. Number one is on. Uh, now time for number two. as can be now the moment of truth i'm scared <laughs> mounting kit uh -huh. and then you can put those lower take it off flip it over oh. and then it's closer to the bottom i'm so scared <laughs> like it's so tight but wait hold on <laughs> <laughs> here okay. Okay. no come here so you can do we're gonna do the the hang test see if it actually carries me i am about 170 pounds right now. <laughs> Is it on you? A little lower. Like flip it a little down. No, that's good. Wait, what do you mean flip it? Yeah, you're good right there. Uh. <laughs> I'm scared. What? I did it right. Let's see. I can't do a pull up yet, but someday I will. But it's not too right. It's not tugging on it. Yay. It's very sturdy. No like wiggle room, no nothing. So the first two are up and then now I have to put the bottom ones and that's it. So I'll take this back. Oh, I'm proud of myself. What do you think? Not bad, right? Not bad. Okay, so now we can drop this a little lower and do the second ones, which is what you like up here. I don't know. I feel like it's just gonna run now. Like crazy. Yeah. yeah.
Last one. I really doubted myself. <laughs> wow. You know, because men tend to doubt me. <laughs> you can't do it like a man does, you know. I did. <sighs> did it. Woo -hoo. Okay. Moment of truth. Just like one second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'm just I kidding. pulled all this stuff I know. out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it hangs it. Put your back up against it. Yay. I'm trying again. Does it feel sturdy? Mm hmm. Have so much fun. <laughs> okay, so if you want to do the bar dips or these, because you can do this, mm -hmm. but I can't even do that either. <gasps> or you take it off. Okay, this to do the pull-ups. Oh my god, the little so they were like tilted. There you go. So like that. Yay. Not bad. Alright. I did it. What do you guys think? Not bad. Took an hour. Could have been 45. Now that you guys know how to do it exactly. But I'm proud of myself. What do you guys think? Um I'll let you guys know when I make something else. We are trying to do like a little mini home gym tomorrow. We'll be assembling what is the bike? It's an exercise bike. It's a cycle bike. Some exercise. cycle bike. Um, I don't know the brand, but we're doing that tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.